So now that we're here in the, the eye, probably time to start getting used to start preparing roughly where we're going to put this mouth area. Okay, so I can see here, I'm just going to toggle between that on and off a little bit. I think this part of the head here, just compared to the mesh, to the, the model that I've got, is a little bit further forwards. So I'm just using a big brush to move that forward, but sort of ruining the horn. So let's just come up and just mask that off like you would in Mudbox or something. Just give it a mask, just to protect it. And now from that side view, we can use that big brush again and move that forwards just to a better area and sort of smooth it out. But we now know that that's protected, that area. And when you come back out of it, it's going to give you a little bit of a rough edge, but you smooth that out and we're okay. The other thing you can do is use like the clay build up and alt key and just hack into that a little bit to give that more where I want it to be. It's probably too much now. So we see the dimple of that's where the mouth's line sort of goes there. So the great part about ZBrush, don't really have to worry about topology. Yeah, and then you can just give that a little bit of a thing there. Now we want to prepare for the eye as well. The eye will be really easy. I know I've left that and everyone's like, well, what about the eye? But uh, it will happen. Don't stress, no stress. And then there's a little bit of an eye sort of socket there. Okay, so that's getting pretty good now. We can go up another level now. Still, I'm not super happy with the shape. It's looking a bit round to me. So you can see how much time I spend in these lower levels. And this is really out of experience, not because I... I think it's cool. It's just, you know, practical. Okay, so I'm just sort of culling that back because I want that nose to be just a little bit sharper. You know, and so I'm sort of weighting that cross section down the bottom so that's flatter down the bottom and more pointy at the top. It's quite subtle. These are the sort of things that can make a bit more of an interesting looking dragon here. This stuff can be deceivingly difficult doing simple characters like that. So I'm just really trying to get more of a slim there, but you can feel the shapes, the way that we've built built that underneath is actually being quite strong. So bring that in the top view, top view. Oh gee, there we go. So we're still, yeah, it looks like that is a bit further back. The smaller brush this time, just to ignore that. Yeah. So that'll do. There we go. So we've got this rough sort of face going on there. Now let's go up another level and maybe two. So we're going to get to the top level, which is this one. And we're at 160,000 points, but I'm even going to go a bit higher now. So we'll see why in a second. So now we're at, you know, half a million polys. Okay. So make sure you got a half decent computer to deal with that. Now, what I want to do is just sculpt in that area. And you can see that now that we've got more polys, it's a lot easier for us to sculpt in and just make these detail sort of changes. So I'm just actually getting the eye socket. So preparing for that eye to go in. Come over, thinking about the form of that you can see what I'm doing here with the clay build up. I'm using clay build up and just sort of rubbing it in and then smoothing it back, but not sort of smoothing it back here. Now to get sharp creases is actually pretty easy. We're going to be using a lot of the, the damn standard. That's like a knife tool where you can cut in. It's a beautiful, beautiful, really nice tool. There are some custom tools that are a bit better than this and you can use the negative and that'll get you these sharp sort of creases as well. So you might even be here tempted to go up higher, but this is fine because we're going to lose a lot of this detail. You can sort of see that you could even get a sharp line there, smooth it back a little bit, another sharp line there. Get those sorts of lines out just to encourage that form a tiny bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it there. That's close enough, it's good enough. 